Hello viewers and welcome to my channel and today I have a 2001 Toyota Sequoia and it's the, it's the same up to about 2006 something like that with a 4.7 liter engine and today I'm gonna be replacing the steering wheel column assembly the entire wheel uh, steering wheel column assembly that I only got it from my young yard already the shifter broke and uh, he has decided to replace the whole thing because he has some other issues too it's in reverse as you can see because this uh, thing broke here see it's all loose it doesn't go anywhere it won't move from there so it means it's broken here or something now if you got stuck uh, far away from home with this truck because the shifter broke I have a video on how you can drive this truck with the shifter broken without fixing it no problem you still can drive it but I covered that in another video with this same truck just look for the video on my channel Okay, here is a, a Phillips, uh, there is a Phillips uh, screw here and the bottom uh, cover for the steering wheel. I'm gonna go ahead and um, turn on the ignition switch uh, to turn the steering wheel to have access to the bolts here. I mean the screws here. Okay. And we do the same on both sides. This one has another one on the other side too. Okay, I'm on the other side here. Here. Do one thing. Put this tray again. Sometimes you have a hard time if you leave this to one side, the steering wheel to one side. If you don't leave it straight, you have problem when you go back to turn it on. Sometimes the, the key does not that's not turned so be careful with that always put it astray see where it broke right there oops it broke here as you can see so the thing is that the other piece is inside there uh this one has a wire uh this one here i'm gonna see this one on top of the steering wheel here. This one, gotta take it out. And it comes to this connector here. It comes to this connector, I'm gonna disconnect it. Okay, here I disconnect it. All you gotta do is press on the tap and disconnect it. I should be able to remove this. Right there. Now, this one doesn't come out just like that. I don't think it comes out just like that. This came out because it's broken here on both sides. As you can see, the other piece has to be removed too. It broke from here, from here, and from here. So I'm going to go ahead and take the plastic covers off and whatever I have to take off and transfer the, the airbag from the other one uh, and this one, the key over here. I'm gonna turn the ignition, the ignition key all the way like you turning on the car to uh, to have access to the to turn this steering wheel and have access to the screws right there. Right here, those are regular Phillips. Uh, be careful with these uh, switches here, uh, headlight switch, whatever, uh, not to bang them on the floor so you can break them. These two tabs here, you press them like this, and you press this tab here. These are the small bolts right there to take the the airbag out of here. This is a T30 here. T30, and don't know if the camera is gonna be able to get it. And one thing I want to mention is they don't come out, they are still inside, you just lose them. Once they are loose enough, you can pop up the airbag. And make sure you have disconnected the battery on the vehicle for at least 30 minutes before, at least. Make sure the, the system is uh, completely disabled once you start removing the airbag. So make sure at least the car has been without battery, without power for about 30 minutes, at least. T20 here. For these bolts here, for these ones, T20.
Okay, I took it out already. That's the spring right there. It's a very long spring. Um, the spring is in the hole right there, as you can see. Okay, I'm gonna be removing this uh, cover here. Uh, this lower plastic cover. 10 millimeter bolt. Another 10 here, right there. Another one right there, here. Another one here, close to the ignition switch. Only clips. All you do is pull it out once uh, you take off the 10 millimeter bolt. Okay, all of these connectors here, I already took them out. Uh, this is uh, holding it by a clip here. It's only connectors here, I already took them out. It's only about pressing the tap and that's it. One thing about this is, you have to put it astray before taking it out, completely astray. The tires have to be completely astray, like this, before taking this out. And for, any, uh, for anything that happens, if you get confused or, uh, or something, just paint it right there. See the mark I did right there? I painted just in case. Uh, I know this one is not coming back here, but because this one is the one uh, that uh, I'm taking out. But uh, you can get a reference from this one to the other one just in case. Here. It's here, it goes here, like this, it goes here, this one goes here, like this, like this exactly, uh, and this small pin here, and this is the brake pedal, here. Okay, and right now I'm going to be removing this uh, cable, the one that goes to the transmission, the linkage transmission cable. Now just press on the clips here, it has clips. Alright, this is the 12mm bolt here. Okay, for 10mm bolt right there. Right here. One. And another one on the other side. The camera is not gonna be able to see it, but it's one of the same on the other side. Here. Right there right there then you come up here that's the other one right there here right there four of them 14 millimeter uh, nuts is uh, not bolts but nuts and I'm gonna be taking that two uh, uh, in the bottom here first
this part that you see here, this space that you see here, this is a, uh, it stays up and that's how it goes straight, as you can see. Uh, now, these are the bolts here, now that I don't have the steering column here. See, it's uh, easy to see them, right there, right there. Now make sure you don't you don't forget to transfer to transfer anything from the one that was here from the steering wheel that was here to the other one. So make sure you, you don't forget that because then you will have to take it out and that's gonna be a problem. Uh, that's the one that came out and this is the one that is going in. Now I put two marks over here, as you can see, two marks. These marks are lining up because I want to put it straight before installing it. And what I'm gonna do is all the way right there it's all the way that way so I'm gonna bring it back how many turns I can go one one right there two three four five that's five okay five and a little bit more it came up to here so we go back right there oops we go back that whatever it was extra is up to here up to here this part here and you go back you go back to the where i line it up where i have to two marks and then you can and then you count uh two and a half two and a half so i'm gonna come here here because i want to be able to see here right here here so i'm gonna count two and a half one oops one two right there two see two here and two and a half should be straight but then we gotta stop here by this area here right there and that's straight that is straight over here it looks all messed up because this uh, but that is straight right there see right here so that is uh, how it's going and from now on I cannot let it uh, move to the sides. I'm gonna grab it from here, from here and from there. So it doesn't, it doesn't move. And that's the space right there. That's the... Sometimes you have to open this a little bit here uh, with a flathead screwdriver. Sometimes you tap it here with a screw, uh, flathead screwdriver or something or chisel. Tap it with a hammer to open a little bit more when you have uh, difficulties putting it in. I just uh, uh, th uh, throw penetrating oil, you have to just tap it because this uh, moves too much. And I forgot to mention that uh, once you get it astray, the, the way you're going to install it, uh, just uh, take out the key. So it doesn't, because with the key, uh, it's still going to turn. Seems like it went inside. At least if I can put a uh, one nut. Okay, I'm um, putting the nuts by hand. Okay, uh, I connected all the connectors ready. 
I didn't show that camera because that's something that is just about uh, anybody knows how to uh, do that. All the connectors there are some wires right there. That I'm gonna put some tape on those wires. Uh, I don't know, someone left those wires like that. I'm gonna be installing this uh, the 12 millimeter bolt here on the steering column right there. Make sure it goes by hand. Okay. Also the spring, it goes here. This is the spring here. Here. This is our transmission cable here. It's not installed yet. It goes here on this pin. Right there. These bushings, they go here. Make sure those uh, bushings stay on this side, those clips stay on this side. See, it's on the, they are on this side already. So now I can try to install this here, the cable here and the pin. Okay, right here, now it's uh, all the way in. And right now I'm gonna be removing the airbag here on this one because I have to transfer the airbag to the other uh, steering wheel column assembly. Now this is a T30, T30 here. Okay, the same I'm, I'm gonna do on the other side, so I'm not gonna show that because it's the same. Okay, and, and now what you're gonna do is just uh, pull it out, and if it still doesn't come out, just uh, try with a T30 uh, with your hands. Uh, try to pull it out just a little bit because it has connectors, remember? But if it still doesn't come out, just uh, go here by hand. So you do it by hand, so because sometimes the screws or small bolts they're still inside even if you have to take them out but if you do it by hand they uh, they end up coming out completely and it has this uh, ground here you have to just pull it out and that's it Uh, the battery has to be disconnected in order to, uh, for you to do this before closing it all the way to here make sure that the uh, uh, small bolt or screws are all the way up all the way out right there on both sides this is the other one here okay and uh, now i'm gonna close it because uh, the bolts are all the way out on this side and on that side right there And uh, all you gotta do is uh, press it here, press it, and then I insert the bolt. Uh, you might have to be play with a little bit, just uh, move it like this, till the bolts align on that, on that side, and put them by hand. Do not put them with a ratchet or cordless ratchet or anything like that. Okay, it has been installed already. All you gotta do is uh, press it here to align the bolts there. You have to keep it pressing first on both sides. 
really I uh, usually press it from the metal here now we're gonna put these uh, small covers here this here is connected here all I gotta put is the covers and this uh, lower cover here too on the steering column assembly and it's very easy and remember the screws that are here all you gotta do is uh, turn the steering wheel like I did at the beginning and uh, don't forget to tie the bolts the bolts in the steering column the 14 millimeter bolt okay and uh, it got dark over here already uh, don't forget to tie all the bolts and the uh, the steering column for 10 millimeter bolt or the 12 millimeter bolt and the steering column that goes all the way uh, down there put the the spring and all connectors but program and the key to the, to the pcm to the vehicle that's gonna be in a separate video it's uh it's gonna be on a separate video not on this one